Hello, this is me, Seth, again. Uh, another short tutorial for today. I found a very great uh, recent tip on um, uproduce.net, by the way, a very great site, um, where Optronics is describing how to slice a sample and use the samples to make some very weird stuff to, to each slice and add some effects to totally trash it uh, after afterwards. Um, this inspired me to this one. I am currently working on my new DJ set, which you can see here now. I set up deck A, deck B, and um, yeah, this takes a while. Um, uh, as you see, I have Equals 3 is here, a chorus, flanger, repeat, auto filters on each track. Uh, on the master track, I have an Equals 3, an effect tricks, and flanger again, and two filters again. Uh, I just I don't have very, I don't have much um, tracks inside yet because I'm currently working hard on it. It's called DJ Set 2.0, and it's more an um, effect, more. Uh, uh, specialized on effects, and yeah, uh, let's start. I've added uh, uh, this um, sample here to the arrangement view, which you can uh, listen to now. No. no. Yeah. Uh, I just used. The new sliced new MIDI track function here, one sixteenth notes will do it. And when I'm doing this, you see this drum rack is uh, set up, and all the slices are filled in a uh, new um, separate uh, drum rack position. I have 128, sli uh, 128 slices now. And when I zoom in and go to the MIDI notes here, I can play back each slice. <laughs> Looks very nice. But now we want to add some cool weird uh, starter effects. Uh, wh what we'll do every time are just uh, the main notes like one, two, uh, three, and four. And now I just add um, on the uh, bar two uh, the same notes. Uh, on S16 uh, for the 4 I do the same but I shorten the, the last two notes to oops, two, 32 notes one, two. Uh, maybe the other way around Yeah, something like that. Uh, you can overdo this as you like. You can add uh, even shorter notes, which will sound like this. Um, like 128 notes which are always great. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, 128. Uh, you can even go in deeper, like. Let's say ah, 16,384 uh, th note, notes, um, but normally the 64th and 128th will do it. Okay, uh, I already set up a new track here on the bottom, which you can listen to when my computer reacts. Yeah, great. Yeah. Slow thing. Mute this one and go back. Yep. We will do it. Um, when I go to the effects page here, you already see that I added some uh, effects here, like chorus and three beat repeats. Three beat repeats are very good um, a measure, measure here. I set up uh, each one with a very high interval, which you can see here. This the, the last one here is on bar four, 
we will listen to it. Yeah, you heard it. Uh, again. Yeah. This one uh, will use um, will make use of uh, volume uh, fade. Yeah. And the first one, which is this one, will make use of a pitch decay. Yeah. Again, this one is set to two bars, this one is set to one bar, and the last one is set to four bar. Four bars. I play back on three now. Some very wild effects, and now for the chorus effect, I set up this one that each uh, that the two delay times are the same. So when I uh, move the first one, the second goes uh, with the first one. It's important to move the rate here all the way down and use a very high uh, feedback rate, just about 84, 85 percent uh, to 95 percent. Um, we now add some effect uh, automation here for the bypass. I set a new automation lane here for delay time, a new lane, and for feedback, a new lane. So let's play with this one. I go to pencil mode or draw mode, it is called. Maybe I don't know. Always use the shortcut. It's, it's command D on Apple, and I suppose control B on the on one of those PCs. Okay. Uh, see you again for the next time.